hello my students of third prep. Today we are going to have a general exercise on all we have learned the previous lessons. Let us start by the first question which is complete. The distance between the point negative 3 and 4 and the origin equals how many units? At the very beginning, you are going to notice that we can find the distance by the following rule, which says distance equals square root x2 minus x1 all to the power of 2 plus y2 minus y1 all to the power of 2. So it is equal to square root negative 3 minus 0 all to the power of 2 plus 4 minus 0 all to the power of 2. To give a result as square root, yes, what about negative 3 power 2? It is 9. So it is square root 9 plus 4 power 2, which is 16, to obtain a result as square root 25. And this will lead us to a distance as 5 units. So in this case, we can say that the distance will be 5 units. Another example if 10, 3x equals square root 3, where 3x is acute angle, then measure angle x equals what? At the very beginning, you are going to notice that 10, 3x equals square root 3. Can you find the measure of 3x, which is the angle? Of course, yes. How do you remember? Yes, by using your calculators. So we are going to press the buttons. Shift, 10, square root 3. In this case, you are going to obtain a result as 3x equals 60 degrees. To find the value of x, you are going to divide both sides by 3. So we can say that x equals 60 divided by 3 which is equal to 20 degrees. And here we can say that measure angle X equals 20 degrees. Let us have another example. Sine 30 degrees, cosine 60 degrees, plus cosine 30 degrees, sine 60 degrees equals what? Here in this case, you can use your calculators to find the result. But please, you must write your steps. How can you solve such a problem using steps? You are going to draw the rect that triangle, which says that you have right angle triangle, an angle of measure 30 degrees, another angle with measure 60 degrees. And we can say that the side opposite to the 30 degrees is 1, the hypotenuse is its double, which is 2, and the length of the third side will be square root 3. So in this case, we can say that sine 30 degrees will be half multiplied by, what about cosine 60 degrees? Of course, yes, it's adjacent over hypotenuse, so it is 1 over 2. So half multiplied by half. Plus, what about cosine 30 degrees? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it is square root 3 over 2. Then, what about sine 60 degrees? Yes, sine 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, so it is square root 3 over 2. Then, by using your calculators or by your minds, it is half times half gives quarter, plus square root 3 over 2 times square root 3 over 2 gives 3 over 4, so quarter plus 3 over 4 gives a result as 1. In this case, we can say that sine 30 cosine 60 plus cosine 30 sine 60 equals 1. Another example. If negative 2 and 3 is midpoint of line segment passing through, 
x and 1 and negative 2 and y. Then x equals what and y equals what? First of all, you know that negative 2 and 3 is the midpoint, so we can use the rule of the midpoint, which says that the midpoint will be x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So we can say that negative 2 and 3 equals, that's correct, x plus negative 2 over 2 and 1 plus y over 2. Here you have two order pairs equal. Then we can say that the x coordinate equals the x coordinate. So it is negative 2 equals x plus negative 2 over 2. By making cross multiplication, you are going to find that x minus 2 equals negative 4. Then x will be negative 2. What about the y coordinate? Yes, the two y coordinates are equal. So we can say that 3 equals 1 plus y over 2. By making cross multiplication, it will lead us to 1 plus y equals 6. So in this case, we can find that the value of y will be 5. And then x equals negative 2 and y equals 5. Another example, sine a over cosine a equals what? Do you know sine over cosine? Yes, sine a over cosine a equals 10 a. Another example, ABC is right angle triangle at A. AB equals 7 centimeters. BC equals 25 centimeters. Then sine B plus sine C equals what? At the very beginning, you must draw triangle ABC right angle at a, so A equals 90 degrees. What about the length of the sides? Yes, that's correct. BC is 25 centimeters and AB equals 7 centimeters. Now, when you look carefully to such a drawing, you are going to notice that you do not know the length of AC. Can you find the length of AC? Very good. You can find it. How? By using Pythagoras theorem, which you have studied before. Then, since measure angle A equals 90 degrees, then you can use Pythagoras. Then, AC to the power of 2 equals BC to the power of 2 minus AB to the power of 2. So, it is 25 to the power of 2 minus 7 to the power of 2. To obtain a result as 576. Now AC power 2 equals 576. Can you find the length of AC? Yes, by taking square root for both sides. So we can say that AC equals square root 576 to obtain a result as 24 centimeters. Now, can you find sine B plus sine C? Of course, yes. What about sine B? It is opposite over hypotenuse. What about the opposite of B? It is 24 over the hypotenuse, 25. Plus, what about sine C? It is the opposite to angle C over the hypotenuse of the triangle. So it is 7 over 25. These two fractions have the same denominator, so you can add the numerators to obtain a result as 31 over 25. Another example, the distance between the point negative 3 and 1 and the y-axis equals how many units? 
try to plot the point negative 3 and 1 on the two coordinates. So you are going to draw the x and the y axis. Negative 3 and 1 will be plotted as that in front of you. So what about the distance between this point and the y axis? Of course, distance, it means the perpendicular distance. What about the perpendicular distance between this point and the y axis? It will be 3 units. Another example. X, Y, Z is triangle. Measure angle X equals 85 degrees. Sine Y equals cosine Y. Then measure angle Z equals how many degrees? First of all, you are going to notice that sine y equals cosine y from the given. So it means that measure angle y plus measure angle y equals 90 degrees. As when the sine equals cosine, it means that the sum of the angles will be 90 degrees. Measure angle y plus measure angle y, it means double measure angle y equals 90 degrees. By dividing both sides by 2, you are going to obtain a result as measure angle y equals 45 degrees. Now you have angle x, 85 degrees, measure angle y, 45 degrees. Can you now find measure angle z? Of course, yes, it is 180 degrees minus the sum of angles x and y. So it is minus brackets 85 plus 45 to obtain a result as 50 degrees. In this case, we can say that measure angle z equals 50 degrees. Another example. If X and Y are the measures of two complementary angles, where X ratio Y equals 1 ratio 2, then sine X plus cosine Y equals what? First of all, you are going to look carefully at the problem. You are going to notice that the word complementary means what? Do you remember? Yes, complementary means that their sum will be 90 degrees. Then, what about the ratio? X ratio Y equals 1 ratio 2. It means that angle X is half angle Y. In this case, we can say that let angle X equals M and let angle Y equals 2M as X is half Y. What about the sum of these two angles, X and Y? Their sum will be 90. So measure angle X plus measure angle Y equals 90 degrees. By substituting, instead of measure angle X, we are going to put M. And instead of measure angle Y, we are going to put 2M. So M plus 2M equals 90. By adding, 3M will be equal 90 degrees by dividing both sides by 3 to obtain the value of m as 30 degrees. Now you have found the value of m. What about measure angle x? It is m. So measure angle x equals 30 degrees. What about angle y? It is 2m. So measure angle y equals 2m, it means 30 multiplied by 2 to obtain a result as 60 degrees. In this case, we found measure angle X and measure angle Y. Then, you know that sine X plus cosine Y, to find it, you are going to draw triangle, right angle, triangle, angle, 30 degrees, another angle is of measure, 60 degrees and you know that the hypotenuse will be double the side opposite to the 30 and the third side will be square root 3 then what about sine x plus cosine y sine x means sine 30 degrees plus what about cosine y it means cosine 60 degrees 
What about sine 30 degrees opposite over hypotenuse? So it is 1 over 2. What about cosine 60 degrees? It's adjacent over hypotenuse. So it is 1 over 2. Then it is half plus half to obtain a result as 1. Now let us have another example. If the distance between the two points a and 7 and negative 2 and 3 equals 5 units, find the value of a. Now the question is asking you about the value of a. And I'm saying that the distance between these two points equals 5. So we are going to use, very good, the rule of the distance. What about the rule of the distance? Distance equals, that's correct, square root y2 minus y1 all power 2 plus x2 minus x1 all to the power of 2. So it is square root a minus negative 2 all to the power of 2 plus 7 minus 3 all to the power of 2. And this distance will be equal 5. Now, by squaring both sides of the equation, you are going to find that a plus 2 all to the power of 2 plus 16 equals 25. Then, to find the value of a plus 2 all to the power of 2, so it is 25 minus 16 to obtain a result as... 9. Look carefully, a plus 2 all to the power of 2 equals 9. By taking square root for both sides, you are going to find that a plus 2 equals positive or negative 3. This means that a plus 2 equals 3 or a plus 2 equals negative 3. Now try to find the value of a from the first part, which says that a equals 1. What about the value of a from the second part? It is negative 5. So we obtained two values for the a, which are 1 and negative 5. Now let us have another example. If a, x and 3, b, 3 and 2, C, 5 and 1 are vertices of triangle, where AB equals BC. Find the value of X. Look carefully, AB equals BC. It means that the length of AB equals the length of BC. It means that the distance between A and B is exactly the same as that between B and C. So we must find the distance between A and B and the distance between B and C and equalize them together. How to find AB? So it is square root x minus 3 all to the power of 2 plus 3 minus 2 all to the power of 2, which will be equal to square root x minus 3 all to the power of 2 plus 1. What about the length of BC? BC equals square root 3 minus 5 all to the power of 2 plus 2 minus 1 all to the power of 2. To obtain a result as square root 4 plus 1 equals square root 5. Now you have AB equals BC. So since AB equals BC, you are going to find that square root X minus 3 all to the power of 2 plus 1 equals square root 5. By squaring both sides of the equation, you are going to find that X minus 3 all to the power of 2 plus 1 equals 5. Then what about X minus 3 all to the power of 2? It is 5 minus 1 equals 4. Look carefully, by taking square root for both sides, you are going to find that x minus 3 equals positive or negative 2. And here we can say that x minus 3 may be 2 or x minus 3 will be negative 2. 
in the first part we can find the value of x as 5 in the second part we can find the value of x as 1 and here you have two values for x 5 or 1 let us have another example find the value of x where x greater than 0 degrees and smaller than 90 degrees if sine x sine 45 degrees cosine 45 degrees tan 60 degrees equals tan square 45 degrees minus cosine square 60 degrees at the very beginning we are going to plot the two triangles and substitute so plot the two triangles the 30 60 triangle right angle triangle 30 60 side opposite to the 31 hypotenuse 2 third side will be square root 3 what about the other triangle right angle triangle angle 45 degrees the other will be 45 degrees so you have two equal sides as the triangle is isosceles so it is 1 1 and the hypotenuse will be square root 2 now let us start substituting sine x multiplied by what about sine 45 degrees it is 1 over root 2 what about cosine 45 degrees it is 1 over root 2 what about 10 60 do you remember 10 means opposite over adjacent so it is square root 3 over 1 which gives square root 3 this will be equal to 10 squared 45 10 45 is 1 so it is 1 to the power of 2 minus what about cosine 60 cosine 60 means adjacent over hypotenuse so it is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 will be all to the power of 2 as the cosine is to the power of 2 then by collecting you are going to find that sine x times square root 3 over 2 equals 3 over 4 which is 1 minus 1 and 1 over 4 in this case we can say that sine x times root 3 over 2 equals 3 over 4 then by dividing both sides by square root 3 over 2 we are going to find that sine x equals 3 over 4 divided square root 3 over 2 to obtain a result as square root 3 over 2 then in this case we can use your calculators to find the measure of angle x how by pressing shift sine square root 3 over 2 to obtain a result for measure angle x as 60 degrees let us have another example prove that the triangle whose vertices are a 5 and negative 5 b negative 1 and 7 c 15 and 15 is right angle triangle at b and find its area do you remember how can you prove that triangle is right angle triangle of course yes by using Pythagoras theorem so it means that we want to find a b power 2 b c power 2 and a c power 2 it means that a b to the power of 2 equals 5 minus negative 1 all to the power of 2 plus negative 5 minus 7 all to the power of 2 which is equal to 36 plus 144 to obtain a result as 180 so ab power 2 equals 180 what about bc power 2 it is negative 1 minus 15 all to the power of 2 plus 7 minus 15 all to the power of 2 to obtain a result as 256 plus 64 then you are going to find that the result will be 
320. And finally, we are going to find AC to the power of 2. So it is 5 minus 15 all to the power of 2 plus negative 5 minus 15 all to the power of 2. So it is equal to 100 plus 400 equals 500. Then, do you notice that AB power 2 plus BC power 2 will be 500? And AC power 2 will be also 500. So they are equal. Then Pythagoras theorem is formed. In this case, we can say that triangle ABC is right angle triangle at B. This means that AB will be the base of the triangle and BC will be the height of the triangle. So now, can you find area of triangle ABC? Yes. You are going to write ABC, area of triangle ABC equals half times base times height. So what about the base? It is half times. The base will be square root 180. Times what about the height? It is square root 320. When you multiply them all together, you are going to obtain a result as 120 squared units by the end of this example we have reached the end of our lesson i wish that i benefit you and i wish that all of you understood the lesson thank you and bye bye